Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good, ladies and gentlemen, of course you know who it is, Dr. Mike back again once again with another classic, classic Raw Talk session for you guys today. And as I see the holiday season winding down, I want to wish everybody, first and foremost, a happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. I know I said that on my live stream, but I definitely wanted to say that again in this particular video. Hope you guys enjoyed your Black Friday. I know people out there losing their damn minds over electronics and gadgets and shit, but... You know, because we don't have these types of things here in the Philippines, I wanted to take time to have a little fun with you guys today. This, in my personal opinion, would be what would consist of a traditional Filipino Thanksgiving dinner. Now, of course, we know when a traditional American or Westernized Thanksgiving, you gotta have your turkey, you know, you gotta have your greens, your yams, or sweet potatoes, you gotta have your desserts, you gotta have your stuffing, you gotta have every single thing that would ever go with a traditional meal in the United States. So today we're gonna do something different, man. I believe that if Filipinos celebrated Thanksgiving, this right here would be what would be consistent of a traditional Filipino Thanksgiving dinner okay without further ado let's go ahead and get into this one because we're gonna have a little fun today guys all right first things first nothing is complete without the centerpiece right of course your centerpiece would be a turkey in your normal thanksgiving dinner because turkey is not in abundance in the philippines i think we're gonna have to find a suitable substitute now i know i'm not alone when i say this but i would personally have to say that the lechon baboy aka the whole pig would be more suitable to fit in this particular position so your centerpiece would be a whole lechon that's almost the centerpiece in everything you could consider that the centerpiece at christmas time along with the uh the bola what is it the the little ham shit or in most traditional celebratory festivals your lechon is always the centerpiece okay now, normally in a regular Thanksgiving, you would have gravy, right? You know, nice little gravy that you whipped up from the innards of the turkey or whatever it may be. But because we don't have turkey, we have to find a suitable gravy. Now, this isn't going to be your normal gravy. It would have to be the mixture of toyo, which is soy sauce, calamansi, and also sukat, which is vinegar. I believe that that would be a suitable gravy to go alongside with your uh, lechon my boy all right so now that we got our turkey we got our gravy we have to think about our sides your dishes so we have rolls in your normal thanksgiving dressing and all of that shit right because we're in a filipino setting at this particular moment in time i think that all of your starches will be covered and taken care of by of course the good old white rice <laughs> Every Filipino meal is not the same unless right, white sorry, white rice is included, of course. So, you know, all of your starches will be taken care of with the white rice. All right, like I said, rolls, stuffing, dressing, whatever you want to call it, all of that taken care of with the rice, all right? Then, of course, you can have your nice little pensek canton that will take the substitute of, like, your green beans. <laughs> then you have, of course, my favorite of all time which is the uh give me a second guys i'm gonna get it so, uh the spaghetti that sweet ass filipino spaghetti <laughs> that will take the place of the cranberry sauce as well as the as well as the uh, collard greens because they don't have any vegetables like that of course they have their very own green beans as well so that could actually stay the course corn you can find corn in the philippines so that could actually stay the course as well but of course you know i'm more of a dessert type of guy I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to it, I got to go for my desserts. So what kind of desserts would be suitable for your normal Thanksgiving? Uh, sweet potato or pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie, uh, all of these pies per se, cakes too. But in the Philippines, I kind of feel like your uh, Brazo de Mercedes, the little roll that you'll get at Red Ribbon, your chocolate rolls and shit, those will be your more suitable sides in the uh, Filipino traditional Thanksgiving. Also, you can have Halo Halo as your dessert. You just got to make sure that the uh, ice doesn't melt. Of course, you can have Benignit. That's normally good for more colder weather or colder climate situations and shit but benignant is always a good custom dessert that i highly enjoy 
All right, and then we have our vegetables. What kind of vegetables could we have with our uh, traditional Filipino Thanksgiving? Of course, in the American Thanksgiving, like I mentioned before, the green beans and the corn, stuff like that could also stay the same. They got squash. That's actually a good, sub uh, not even a substitute, something to also add to the uh, traditional Filipino menu as well. And then, of course, your size cranberry sauce. I'm not too sure what could actually take the place of cranberry sauce, but I really do want your guys' opinion on what you think would constitute as a very, very, very good traditional Filipino Thanksgiving should Filipinos choose to one day in their life to celebrate uh, Thanksgiving in the Philippines, okay? Now, uh... I enjoy Thanksgiving and I'm very thankful for every single thing that I have in my life and I hope that everybody is having a truly blessed Thanksgiving. I know this is a belated video, but again, I am not one to sit there and act as if I will not give you the Thanksgiving love that you so rightfully deserve. I don't care if it's late, don't care if it's on time, because like God say, <laughs> you know, you never it's never too late, man. He's always on time. So with that being said, I hope you guys did have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you're stuffed. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be eating on that damn Thanksgiving turkey for at least the next week, possibly week and a half. You know, if, you, if you're anything like my family is in the United States, they cook a nice size turkey. And then what ends up happening is I got turkey sandwiches that I need to kill for the whole next week. I still got like a whole tray of dressing. Half the time, people don't eat any of the yams or the sweet potatoes. So I'm stuck eating that shit too. You know, you, you got to you, you got a family like mine you're normally gonna be stuck in situations where you're eating Thanksgiving up until damn near Christmas sometimes you know it just depends on how often you consume all right but again don't forget to be thankful this time of year I know that my people like to do a lot of church uh, they do church services and also they like to uh, do some missionary work as well you know feed the family type situations and I know they did that this year I made sure that I threw in my little contribution so that they could put a little money on it for myself so again when it comes to Thanksgiving I'm definitely Definitely happy with what I have but I also want to make sure that those that do not have also could have you know even if it's not a no even if it's not a lot I want to make sure that they can also have as well okay and then of course I got to give much love because I did miss Black Friday I think that if they celebrated Black Friday here in the Philippines <laughs> that would be hectic as hell but then again you got to realize though you guys can go to the mall anytime you want to and there's always some type of sale or something like that but Filipinos ain't gonna put shit on like super sale okay you're not gonna go into the mall and find a regularly priced uh camera a canon or a nikon or whatever or a panasonic or whatever you're not going to find no camera that's normally priced at six hundred dollars or 599.99 and they're going to try to sell it for 129 us dollars okay just not gonna happen all right that's just not gonna happen nobody's gonna take no l's on no profit like that in the philippines so i do not see them celebrating black friday at all but if they did if they did, that would be probably one of the more hectic times of the year, probably more hectic than anything, any time during Christmas ever, okay? And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to come through and talk a little shit. Maybe your Thanksgiving traditional Filipino style Thanksgiving would be celebrated differently, but I kind of wanted to come together and give you guys a couple of thoughts, a little food for thought, because that was just what was on my mind today. I want to make sure that everybody's had a blessed Thanksgiving. I sincerely hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know that I didn't really celebrate it like that, but you know how we do. You know, you find the thankfulness and the Thanksgiving and everything. I probably ended up eating like KFC or McDonald's. <laughs> there was no Thanksgiving in my... Um, <laughs> in my future at this particular moment in time uh they also do have like thanksgiving meals at certain restaurants here in the philippines so you, it's not impossible they got boston market in some parts of the philippines so you know you could get you a nice little setup in that particular instance and it'll probably serve you well and i think that i have talked just about enough so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a moment again in the comment section. I want you guys to make sure that you comment down below. Tell me what you think will consist of a traditional Filipino Thanksgiving. And if you tell me that the centerpiece is anything other than a lechon baboy, I think you don't lost your mind. Of course, the fried chicken is still going to stay fried chicken because Filipinos like fried chicken too. <laughs> okay, so that's not changing. And with that being said, the good doctor is about to officially close it out. Hope to see you guys again soon. 
Philippines treated me very well. With that being said, the good doctor is out. A alis nako paalam, which means I am going now. Bye bye. As always, love you guys. Mahokita, mabuhay. Am I good? Peace.